Welcome, one and all, to Fate, the Rise of Madness. This is session 38, Contracts and Contraband, Part 4. I'm not sure what you're wanting to do. I'll preach it for like a, my, my drink. So. The, uh, yeah. We'll do a quick recap, and then we'll jump straight away in. Okay, <laughs> last session, um, the group was in Adoja, and they turned in the money that they found of the Koraki money that was stolen, receiving a hefty sum, which they uh, of which they randomly gave a <coughs> very substantial portion to the newest arrival, Ryland. <laughs> Specifically, Clank did. Yes. Like oh, just yeah, like, yeah. oh, hey, here. Yeah. Here, take this. Yeah, he Here's 14,000 white draka. Oh, like, like the rest of us probably didn't even realize what was happening. Mm -mm. I mean, it's like, like wait. Yeah. Look at this. Huge, <laughs> huge money. Like, you could Literally, legitimately like, retire and not work ever again. Uh, and, and be not good. want for anything. Yeah. I don't care about that kind of stuff. It just makes me wish it was real. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> That's why we play D&D, &D, so we can do things like get a full eight hours of sleep and be fully financially stable live fulfilling lives the things we want to do. <laughs> uh, so, it's called fantasy right the, yeah there was a ship that was coming Still, in okay. to the harbor much faster than it should uh, the place. group fought a a uh, creature with substantially large tentacles that began tearing up the ship. They successfully chased it away. They didn't kill it, but you chased it away. And the ship sank. Um, over the next two days after that, Roland, I'm sorry, Ryland uh, stayed and uh, was sort of doing research. Um, some other people did some things, but a particular note for the current, kind of what's going on now, is Clank uh, helped with the recovery of as much of the materials from the sunken ship as they could, as, as they could recover. Obviously, they didn't bother with, like, the food stores and stuff like that because there's just no, there's no recovering that. Oh, yeah. Um, That's true. Sweet. The, let's see here. Oh, that's, that's my crazy dog. Quit barking for no reason. <sighs> that dog will never stop doing that. I know, right? Come on. <laughs> Come on. Stab it, go. Go. Come on. Get, get on with your bad self. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Get on with your bad self. A plus content that we uh, we, we strive for, guys. That's right. Um, Ryland's research uh, sort of developed within his uh, slate. The come on, go stop that. No, stop it. My computer's being weird. Okay, uh, where once per long rest. He can get advantage on Eldritch Blast for a number of rounds equal to his Charisma modifier. Um, at the end of the second day, the Postal Service, i.e. the little fey creatures known as brownies, uh, brought Clank a message. A missive, I stole if you will, from Ganrock. Big gnomish city, uh, northwest of Sartak City, and the missive was essentially uh, return as soon as you can. Your master's body has gone missing. Uh, oh snap! Yes, for those Evander. of you who are unfamiliar, that is indeed. Evander Jadar of Campaign 1. Now, he's been dead for, at this point, you know, 50 years, maybe? 
Probably a little more than that. It has been some time since, like, it was a it was hundred years between campaign one and campaign two. So, uh, yeah, he's been dead a while. But that's not something that we are in a position to fully kind of deal with at the moment. So, instead, what we'll sort of focus on is one of the items that was recovered from the sunken ship. Oh, uh, real quick. Before all of the sort of ship attack thing went down, there was a uh, very sort of mildly cathartic conversation between Althea and Cain. We have rested since the ship attack, right? Yes. Yeah, it was like a couple days later. It has been, yeah, it was it's like two days later. So, yes. Plank, while helping recover the loot from the ship, grabs uh, he, one of the items. So most of it is fairly just like marked Karaki Corporation, and it's things like um, weapons, uh, sealed, non-perishable type goods, uh, things of that nature. Nothing of particular interest or note with the exception of there is a small chest that was pulled up. It does not have the Karaki note on it or logo on it. Um, it is, uh, it also does not appear to have any sort of locking mechanism. Like it's just, it, it has a latch to keep it closed, but it doesn't have a lock. It could if one were to put a lock on it, of course, but it does not at present have one. That's the only sort of non karaki like company item that was found on the ship. And okay. uh, why it is of particular interest is um, it was found in a section of the ship that appeared to have been like a hidden compartment on the ship. <clears throat> um, okay. So he kind of brings it up and says, I, I don't know. Uh, I found this in a, a secret spot uh, on the ship, and I don't know what it what it is. I haven't opened it yet because, you know, probably better to do that with everyone nearby. So we gather. You all are gathered. Okay. And, oh, uh, really quick, uh, quick note. The book, the Elder's Book, that Ryland now possesses, there was that note that was found that said, uh, where is that note? Sizir, I think it was. I know it's up here somewhere. Yeah. Cezir in Draconicia. Which I need to change that because I think I changed the name of that town. But I think it's now Drakar. But that's the dragonborn city in or town in uh, the southern continent of Chagaus. Which now has a nice map that I made. I need to put those over into Roll20 and then Fantasy Grounds when we finally start doing Fantasy Grounds. Uh, but for now, that is something that you can do. Um, what would you like to do? You're currently... Okay, first of all, where do you gather to do anything with this chest? The captain of the ship is dead, and none of the crew members, <coughs> if you uh, took the time... Uh, we'll, we'll kind of assume that you took the time to ask a little bit about this. Um, they have no idea 
what that is. It, it would seem that uh, only the captain knew about that chest, and he's not around to answer he any did. questions. I see you. He did. <clears throat> yes, he okay. is. Just to see. Where do you gather? And what do you do? Um, I'd say that we probably gather on our own ship. That's fair. That would be my guess. I mean, <clears throat> open to input as well, but no, I'm, I'm fine with that. Quetzal. Uh, I'm in the kitchen. On the ship. <laughs> yeah, that's where I'm going. Oh, okay. So you're not even going to be there when, when the chest opens. Mm, I got some cooking to do. Okay. <laughs> As you can see by the flames shooting out of my stove. <laughs> Did you just draw those? Yep. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> fair, that's fair enough. Uh, where are you opening this? Is it on, like, on, the, on, the, on the main deck? Um, no, probably not on the main deck. Probably like in. Wait, it's a box essentially. We have no idea what's in it. Correct. Maybe the main deck. And you want to open it in a closed space? Just clarifying. Nope, sure don't. I. Right. The main deck is open, like to the air. It's yep. not. It's not. It's right, right square in the middle. Okay. <sighs> That's fine. And we're going to do it with the ship, like, not up in the air. <laughs> okay. We okay. want to have it, like, in setting in the water. Sure. Okay. But, but not bobbing in the water. Like, it's station, like, <clears throat> right. stationary locked. Like, so it look, will probably look really strange from the outside. Like, yes. Yes, it will. But that, that makes sense. I got you. Of course sort it's of not bobbing. He's flying, looking. but in... Like in the water. So yeah, yeah, I understand. <clears throat> uh, the chest is unlocked. You just open it. First of all, who's opening it? I'll join them on the main deck to open it. Okay. There we go. Who's opening it? Uh, I will. We'll say that Krishna and Clank are with you, um, as well, just to be on the, uh, yeah. Um, do we want to use the old Mage Hand to open this? Does anybody know Mage Hand? I do. Actually, the main deck would be... I am perfectly fine with that, that decision. Okay. Good. Good. As long as you get... That'd be, that'd be bum bum with the uh, box. I need to get Rylan's uh, figure on the ship. I don't think have I a figure? have done that yet. You can actually get to look at it last time. Where is it? I say I did that. Maybe I didn't. Okay. No. We'll get a quick something. This will work for now. It it's a I think it's a dude with purple hair. That's weird. No, delete that. That's weird looking. Nope. <laughs> this will work for now. It's a dude with purple hair. Oh, that's weird. But it'll no, work like for the him. icon oh, the icon hair. went really screwy when I put it on the map. Let's do this then. Human. Ah, that's the one I used, I think. And again, it doesn't really matter what it is. That's fine. Nope. Nice. That is... Be a portrait. Huh? <laughs> I'm a portrait. An actual painting. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Yes, you are. And that's 
Let's see. <clears throat> Come on, what? Gerald, hurry up. Paint me like one of your French girls. Done. Portrait of uh, Dorian Gray. Damn right. <laughs> uh, in Corey's bed. French girl book. Oh. oh. No. No. Smaller. Thank you. <clears throat> that is not right. Mucho better. Good, good. Now. Many more betters. You are all, I guess we'll say about 15 feet away, 20 feet away from it. What's what's your distance away? That works. Yeah, it'll be, that's fine. Okay. <clears throat> Mage hand goes over and. Not oh, far away I need to be to open this and still be able to do that with magic. Uh, the, I believe the range of Mage Hand is 30 feet. So you can... 15, 20 feet is fine. You can go further out, whatever you want to do. Yeah, 15, 20 feet is fine. Alright. The box opens. Uh, there's a sort of satisfying sound as the lid, which was uh, sealed, pops open. Like a pop kind of noise because it was air sealed, airtight. Please let him let me curse. Uh, well, you don't know. You haven't even looked inside it's yet. Good. But it opens it, up. Let me curse. It doesn't explode. Yay! Which is very good. Um, and you can see from where you are that inside of this chest are what appear to be. Uh, small, uh, it's largely, it's, it's like a velvet sort of interior cover or coating sort of thing, fabric, and resting upon it are 15 small white spheres, about the size of ping pong balls, and in the middle of them is a purple gemstone about the same size. Hmm. As soon as it opens, curious, uh, and like maybe a couple of seconds or so after you 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 get a moment to sort of peek inside, um, a sort of thin wisp of uh, same colored smoke rises out of the crystal. Uh, it's not like a huge amount. It's obviously it's a noticeable amount. Uh, it oh, sort of no. begins to gather near, like next to the chest, and within a very short time span, probably like a round, we'll say, uh, a figure materializes. The figure appears to be a child um, of elven descent. Although the features are a little bit, like, sunken, sallow, if you will. Uh, and the clothing that this individual is wearing is a bit tattered. Not yep, called it. Let me curse. Not to the point of, like, being rags by any means, but it's clear that... These are clothing, these are items of clothing that have been worn and not necessarily super well maintained for quite a while. Uh, this, he smiles. It's a boy, or at least it appears to be a boy. And uh, he kind of looks, looks to you and he, he doesn't seem hostile in any way. Like, his, his disposition is not hostile. He seems surprised. But uh, he, he kind of looks down and, uh, you know, sort of in inspects the little spheres. And he, he turns back to you all. Uh, and you, 
and you can see that he's wearing kind of a, a rucksack sort of thing that is uh, blue, like a dark blue. And he has the strangest thing on his head. It's a, it's, it's, it's obviously a hat because it, you know, it sets like one, but it's unlike any hat you've ever seen before. Uh, <clears throat> it has sort of, um, you have Pete Quetz Quetzel's interest. Yeah. So sort of like, Quetzel loves hats. <laughs> man of many hats, huh? Bird of many hats. <laughs> yes. He is a bird of many hats. Um, the hat so similar in ways to uh, like wizard hat, it has part of a brim, but the brim doesn't go all the way around the hat. And it also isn't conical in any way. Uh, the brim of the hat's only in the front. And he kind of, <coughs> looks at looks to all of you with equally piqued interest and says uh, where are we give me that hat I'll tell you no I need this hat I'm Satoshi okay hmm where do you think you are? Well, uh, I was supposed to be sort of reawakened, if you will, uh, in Chagaus. But I don't think I'm there yet. Um, do, do we know where that is? That's the southern continent. The place so that we, you're technically... We all do know that place, though. Hmm? We do know the place. Mm-hmm. You've yeah. heard of it, for sure. I don't know that any of you have been there, necessarily, but you've heard of it. See. And that's sort of... That's where the note is leading you, the, as far as your main quest. South of Pydaren? Yeah. Mm. Uh, South-ish, yeah. I think, technically, it's like south west or something like that but yes <clears throat> um, and what's even more bizarre even than all the other stuff that you've seen so far is he pulls out from one of his side pockets, like from his pants, right? He pulls out a device that looks like, uh, it looks somewhat similar to Ryland's slate. Uh, oh. it, it's clearly different, but, uh, well, yeah, mine's better. Because his, <laughs> yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, Krishna sort of nudges nudges you all and says, uh, "Hey, uh, I uh, he's not evil." Damn. I I because uh, he he can just he can detect he has, evil. He has the spell that lets him detect evil. Uh, and he, he went ahead and popped that as soon as this figure showed up. It's like, he's not he's not evil. I ask him if he's sure. Because I would really like him to be evil. Yeah. <coughs> he's not. He's not evil. Although, I have Oh, you this... need to be careful of having him do that. Because he, he, he may have a little bit of confusion when he looks at you sometimes. I have... I ha Yeah, really. I have the... Uh... Wait, detect... Wait, that's, that's a different spell. Um, I, I, he might... <laughs> Be undead, but uh, he's not evil. Mm, two out of three ain't bad. Might be. Um, can can yes, I ask my slate face. about him and his slate? 
Yeah, so yeah, what he does, good. he, uh, he, he, it, it seems to have some sort of, like, a built-in front cover. He opens up the front cover, and he kind of, like, holds it up to Quetzal. And you hear a voice, a, like a, a, a voice come from his device. And it says, Avian, a bird skeleton. <laughs> well, is, he a, is he a freaking <laughs> Pokedex? If you infuse this skeleton with necrotic energy, it will just become a regular skeleton. He's like, oh. right. It's a shiny. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Uh, thank you, by the way, uh, for you know these these are my uh, these are my my skeleton balls or skeleton balls, and I am training to be the world's best skeleton trainer. All right. Jared, are you fucking with us right now? Or is this real? Is he going to capture my ass? <laughs> no, it's real. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Answer Bob's question next. <laughs> uh, no. It only These only work on dead creatures. Uh, and I don't believe I that you are dead at, at the moment. I don't like how you said at the moment. Uh, well, I, I don't plan on killing you, but... Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah, your your skeleton might be useful if you happen to die. Uh, they only work on dead creatures. Yes. Like, if we had to go to deal with somebody that was dead who was missing, we could use it on them. In theory, yes. <laughs> Just curious. No, back to the hat. You still have a problem. Is... Which is much more important than what you're talking about. My hat? Uh, I will give you a shiny white Draka for that hat. Uh, no thanks. You could buy ten hats with that white Draka. I'm sure I could, but this one is special. One thousand white Draka. You could feed your family for a week. <laughs> uh, well, my mom still... Quite uh, understand the value of a white draka. My mom is, is <laughs> no. still over in in Itosin, uh, which, by the way, is the continent to the west and or east, depending on how far you travel, in that direction. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's on the other side. I thought the D and D world was flat. An Another way are. of uh, mine's not. Another way of uh, describing that would just be yonder. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, but it is not south. It is on the same sort of uh, latitude. <laughs> uh, I never, never really knew my dad. Uh. You know, when I was chosen to be my town's skeleton trainer, uh, the ritual, I think, is, is what killed him. I've been tan for 50 years. Do you happen to know of a professor from your town? Yes, several. One of those is your dad. Uh, no, I don't think so. It's that. true. <laughs> no. Does your does your mother have a uh, companion that is um, what, what did you what did you call it skeleton? A skeleton? Yes. Does your mother yeah, have a well, skeleton companion? Well, yes, of course. He's your daddy. I don't how. That makes no sense. Well, you see, son, when a man loves a woman. He's a skeleton. You find that when a skeleton loves a woman, he gives her the bone. When <laughs> a skeleton loves a woman. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. 
Uh, well, that's, that's, that's weird. Hmm. Uh, no. <clears throat> I've never considered that, uh, and it makes no sense. Um, can I go ahead and, like, talk to my slate about what's happening here in this little dude? Sure. <laughs> yeah. Like, Absolutely. Um, I challenge you to a battle for your hat. Oh, my God. A skeleton battle. Do you have skeletons? I will need to borrow one of yours. I've never met a skeleton trainer that didn't live in Etosin. Uh, I'm surprised. Do you have an empty one of those balls, one of those burn balls? I have several. Can I see it real quick? Can uh, I see one real quick? No. I just want to look at it, inspect they're, it. They're limited in, in their power. Or, I just want to inspect one. I may be able to craft oh, more for you. Okay, sure. And he kind of grabs one of you. He walks it over to you and hands it to you. Oh, this is this is pretty interesting. Yeah. I'm gonna can I, can I like uh, investigate to see if I can figure out how it works. Yes, you can. Uh, give me an Arcana check. I'll show Arcana. Arcana. Yes. <clears throat> Twenty five. Twenty five. <laughs> Dang, dude, that's good. Um, okay. You kind of investigate it. It appears to be, it actually looks very much like what, what we know is a ping pong ball, except there's no text on it. Um, it's not necessarily, it's sort of mid weight based on its size. It's not like super light, light like a ping pong ball. It, it's kind of, it's actually about the weight of a golf ball. Uh, and when you, you go to, uh, kind of investigate it, it's very it's smooth all around. Uh, there does not appear to be any, uh, like buttons or anything like that on it. Uh, it just appears to be a little sphere. Uh, and he says, oh, wait, 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 uh, let me show you how it works. You kind of understand a little bit though, just by looking at it. Cause there are a, a very faint, very, very faintly, you can see some runes that form a small ring around the middle. Um, and it is, uh, they're, they're slightly aglow with magic. You don't, you're not 100% sure what kind, but you can pretty much guess that it's probably necrotic uh, or necromantic kind of uh magic and when you hand it do you do you hand it back to him uh yes now with that inspection can i kind of determine how to make one of those no you have no idea Shit. how to make it you also know that you can't use it well this is bullshit i want to be the very best like no one ever was you are not a necromancer i want to gary oak this bitch you are not <laughs> A necromancer. Uh, I so change classes immediately. You, well, maybe we'll, we'll see how that goes down the road. <laughs> can't do that right now. Not the, the response that he was expecting. <laughs> <laughs> I change classes immediately. Uh, Retcon this whole thing. I've been a necromancer. Uh, the no, I'm, like, I'm giving up my chef ways. When he, uh, when he takes it back, he kind of. Uh, presses one of the runes in it and it sort of expands to about the size of a, of a softball. And, it, you know, it looks the same. It's just now, you know, three, bigger. three times bigger. <laughs> does it make a whoop noise? Yes, it does. And he says, I use these to, uh, to capture skeletons. I uh, I want to whisper to uh, Christian. I'm, I want to be like, this sounds an awful lot like slavery. Are you sure he's not evil? Mm hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, he is not giving off any evil energy. Um, I, I, okay. say slavery. I would just say straight up necromancy. And by the way, he's standing right there. So he's like, 
uh, they're not slaves. They don't have their, they don't have any any sort of minds of their own. But they're, they're skeletons. skeletons. <laughs> oh, that's sad. <laughs> Okay. Well, I'm going to get that hat. Uh, who, by the way, uh, I told you my name. I don't know any of yours yet. I'm Gary Oak. Gary Oak. Deception check. Yeah, deception check. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve. Minus two. It's a minor. That's hilarious. <laughs> I you forgot your awful awesome charisma. Yeah, I'm not charismatic at all. <laughs> it's like, well, he kind of bluntly tried to steal his hat. No, no. Yeah, there no. wasn't uh, too, too not, many games your name's involved not in Gary. that one. What kind of name is Gary? Ask your mom. Okay. Uh, she's not here right now. She's not here right now. <laughs> Went straight to ask your mother. <laughs> <clears throat> um, what what did my slate tell me about this dude and his like the okay? I'm gonna call it pokeballs because that's what they are. Okay, um, so uh, skeleballs. Skeleballs. Yeah. I, I can't call them that. <laughs> <laughs> so copyright reasons. <laughs> huh. I don't want to say skeleballs out loud more than I have to. I got gotcha. you. Uh, <laughs> he says, uh, so your, your slate does have some information on this, actually. Um, so in a lot of places, Itosa not included in this, uh, necromancy is frequently considered to be very bad. Uh for certain obvious reasons that involve, you know, grave robbery and that sort of fun stuff. Uh, and not all necromantic practices are particularly savory. Um, but in Itosin, it's a little bit different. It's not necessarily uh, a lauded practice, but it isn't a shameful one either. And there are some, oh. and there are some areas that it is actually highly regarded. Not, uh, and and there are indeed in Etosin, there are areas that specialize in uh, necromancy, specifically as it deals with uh, skeletons. In this case, you know. Cool. Yeah. Now, the way that Satoshi became immortally uh, 10 years old is <coughs> not a particularly savory aspect of necromantic magic. Uh, but it's not exactly a children's story. No. Well, but he does not seem... He, he either didn't have a direct part in the process or it he ha was able to uh, somehow like erase it from his memory or just you know huh. distance himself from it because he doesn't have I mean he he does not give any sort of vibe of someone who like willy-nilly like grave robs and stuff like that he seems very polite and energetic for a kid who's uh and by the way once he got closer you can see that uh some of the skin on his face is a little like papery <laughs> a little little frayed around the edges too uh he he's, been, he's a little thin he's a little he's a little thin sort of stretched like butter across too much toast yes Exactly. Cool. Uh, the, so, I know that he's heavily in viewed with like necromancy type stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anything else? 
Um, um, anything else you're looking for? Data wise? Not specifically. I'm just curious. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't mind having a look at one of the devices, I guess. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, there's actually there's one more piece. Um, the the skeleton balls that he has in his possession. Uh, mm -hmm. Your slate knows that the 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 art of crafting them is incredibly uh, secret, and there are not a lot of people that know how to do it. Does the slate know how to do it? it does not. So I probably couldn't reverse engineer this. No, I don't think so. You don't know enough about necromancy. That's uh, fair. To... I do know some about necromancy. Though. You know some. But you don't know okay. enough to justifiably be able to sort of recreate these. You could perhaps spend some downtime researching it and see if that's something that might be able to be engineered or somehow that otherwise. might be on my next thing I want to do somehow otherwise manufactured but <clears throat> trouble is getting it to work not so much you know finding the crafting materials and stuff would be relatively easy it's the functionality that becomes the problem um, okay no worries yeah well, of course you can ask him about it too if you wanted to he seems pretty open about what he's got going uh -huh. on I don't figure he's going to know how to actually make one, though. No, he can tell you how they work. Or something like that. Okay. Well, I'm going to introduce myself in that case. Okay. Uh, what was his name? Satoshi. Uh, hi, hi, Satoshi. I'm uh, Rylan Westmore. Rylan. Uh, interesting uh, devices you have there. Do you, do you know how they work? I do. But I don't have a lot. Yes. yes. Sure. Uh, so let's, you know, if, if there's a skeleton nearby, I can throw the skeleton ball at it. And then we'll see if it captures the skeleton. Skeleton, sorry. <sighs> um. <coughs> If it works, awesome. Then I have a new skeleton that I can begin training up uh, for competing in the skeleton matches. If it fails, then it breaks and that skeleton ball's gone. Huh. Which is, it's very, uh, it's tricky. Tricky magic. Sounds like it. <clears throat> I got nothing else right now. Okay. So, where are you guys heading? You want to come with me to to to, to Gauss? Yeah, why not? Got nothing better to do. Um. Uh, Clank is not really into that because he wants to go the other direction to Ganrock to investigate Evander's disappearance, or his body's disappearance. Uh, I don't know, Evander. Don't care. <laughs> gonna watch these. Gonna watch these skele skeleton battles. Skeleton battles. Gonna make some money off of it. Run a gambling ring. Well, uh, buy a cool hat like that. The uh, the skeleton battles are only on Etosin. There aren't any any skeleton uh, gins anywhere but Etosin. That's fine. Let's go to Etosin. No, I need to go to Chagaus. Man, you just tell me where you want to go. We'll go. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know all these words. Mm. All right. Go to minimize. Why is that not opening? All right. Well, <clears throat> I know that it's in or around. Sulonia. But I'm not sure exactly after that where it is. But that that's where I'm headed. Alright. And how big a hurry are you in? Oh, uh, none. Any any experiences are, are good. Uh, they help to bolster and build up my skeletons. The only problem is I have to be really careful that they don't all fall in battle because if they do, then I'm teleported back to the last skeleton center that I was at, and that is in Etosin because they don't exist anywhere else. So I then I have to find all my way all the way back over here. See, I'm a pretty learned bird. It's been, For some reason, I've never heard of skeletons before you got here. It's been I really was... frustrating. It's a different continent. You've never been to Ecosin um, before. I, it may not may have been because it just was entered out a little bit, but did we, did we ask him how he got in the box? I did not. No. <laughs> no. How did you get into the box? <laughs> oh, uh... The, I don't know why I just thought of that. The purple gem is part of my uh, part of my, my power as a skeleton trainer. Oh damn it, it's a purple gem. That's not even remotely funny, Gerald. That's hilarious, and I'm still sad about it. <laughs> <laughs> I said gem, but that works. <laughs> I didn't mean it in that way. I know, but it's funny. It's super funny. Why is that part of your thing? Oh, that's, that's, uh, oh, uh, <coughs> the sort of, the, the common term is, uh, uh, phylactery, I think. Wait, this sounds like a witch. <laughs> How do you make one of those? Can you show me? <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> I don't know. Hard uh, no. It was just it's a part of 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 uh how I can can stay okay. my current age uh for as long as it takes for me to become the skeleton master. What what happens when you become skeleton master? I don't know. I have never become skeleton master. I thought all witches were evil. No. Not true. So why can't I be a witch? What's wrong with you guys not letting me be a witch? Because well, you will be evil. Because. That's a fair argument. <laughs> the, the process. I have no rebuttal. <laughs> <laughs> the, not all witches uh, would be evil, but you would be. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the process for becoming a witch. Uh, is not typically, as far as you understand how to become a lich, which is not very much, uh, you, it, it's, it has a very high cost. 
so like it involves sacrificing people and stuff like that and it's he di he didn't have any direct part in it like the process he was just sort of the aftermath of what happened he doesn't know he only knows that after the process his dad was gone and he has been 10 ever since oh huh. so well all right all right all right yeah yeah <clears throat> neat groovy I think we have I think we have milked this particular source of information as much as possible. Okay. We, we milking this kid now? Uh no. I would rather not milk this child Lynch. Oh sorry, I misheard you. I mean <laughs> you milk anything with nipples. <laughs> I have nipples. I have nipples came. Can you milk me? <laughs> Actually, I don't believe you do, Birdman. Do birds have nipples? No. No. Oh. They're not mammals. Oh. I guess yeah. that makes sense. But I'm a bird man. <laughs> you are a, a, a humanoid bird, but you don't have nipples. How do you know? Have you ever checked? <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> you look, you're looking for my nipples? Yeah. I created the race. The race does not have nipples. <laughs> it's touche. Wow, what a god complex. <laughs> Uh, moving right along. You give me wings that don't fucking work and no nipples. You don't have wings. <laughs> I have fucking feathers. You do have feathers, but you do not have wings. Also, you I don't think like they can be a magic. Publicly do that. What? Never mind. I made a bad pun. Oh. So, uh, what are we going to do with this kid? I'll drive her with you. Okay. I don't have to eat or anything. All right, cool. Yeah, no, we're good then. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Very what? low maintenance. Is, is Tommy's character Clank? Yeah. yeah. Can we make sure Clank doesn't give him like weird stuff that you guys have collected? I would hate for that to happen. <laughs> yeah. We all found yeah. out that he just gave away a bunch of stuff. <laughs> you, you kind of, you, you kind of ring him in for that. <laughs> That's funny. Well, now what? What's up to you? You can head straight to your gals. You that can... was in character. Oh, I know. I'm just filling it in. Is there a large, possibly evil library in Chigals? Uh, there are lots of libraries in Wait, Chigals. Wait, are there library. any evil libraries? Yes. Um, sort of? Maybe? How does a library uh, have an alignment? What's the kid's so, name again? Satoshi. Satoshi. Is there any yeah. organizations that are working against like people trying to become masters of skeletons? Well... Uh, sure. That also use skeletons? Yes. How did you know that? Wild guess. Wow. You're very intuitive. I try to be. It's the team, uh, team socket. Like, like an eye socket. <laughs> Teams, like a shoulder socket. Team it socket. Like, like an eye socket in the skull. That's amazing. I love it. Yes. It is now. It, yes and. I love that. That's brilliant. Um, does my slate know anything about this team socket? No. <laughs> okay. Thought of Jack. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's usually somebody working against a group of people, especially if they're trying to get power. And this kid clearly yeah. looks like he might be a lich. So... Uh, to answer your question, Quetzal, Chigaus is home to the largest population of elves, including the largest population of death elves, 
Now, not all of them are necessarily evil, but some of the books that they keep in their libraries is not, uh, they're not always uh, of the most pleasant uh, subject matters. Excellent. So if you're wanting to pursue that, that is an option, but you have to go into the Underdark to reach the Death Elf cities, which you can do. Works for me. But you have to leave your ship. Because you can't really take That's it underground. I mean, you. I guess technically you can, because it can shrink down, but you wouldn't be able to use it underground. I got legs. I'll be all right. Not wings, though. Gotta keep reminding me of that. You can fly. You just don't have wings. It's not a big deal. <clears throat> it is for his pride. <laughs> it's, it's true. I'm less of a bird. You could become. Uh, that, but that's actually very interesting because if if somebody plays as an avian and they become like a dragon sorcerer, then at level fourteen they would get actual wings. Ah oh, shit! Like dragon wings. <laughs> he changed his classes immediately. <laughs> uh no not how it works i haven't had a chance yet because i've been working on maps all this just while uh to really sort of tweak the arcane chef class but i will and then you can update your stuff for that i'm gonna move the page up closer instead of being higher level it'll be lower so you can actually use it early you're like a barbarian who cooks things. Nice. Basically, Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. That's Except great. he's already in this universe. That's very... He is. He's a Ramian. <laughs> uh, he's a very snooty sort of Ramian. I impressed him with my cooking. You did. And he gave you that sweet blade that does your choice of... Fire, ice, or lightning damage, I think. Yep, it's called Wing and Mirage. Mm -hmm. Just like the uh, skeletons. Skeletons! Um, okay, so you have a number of, of, of things. He does not seem to be in any sort of rush uh, to go to Chigaus directly. Um, and I mean, in fact, if you don't plan on going directly there, He's, he's just like, well, I can go back into the crystal and then wait till you guys arrive. I mean, you do you, kid. I don't, I mean, I don't, it's all good to me. Where are you going? Yeah. Where's your group going? Um, to go. Um, hmm? I think that, I think that we probably, if, Tommy were here would be he'd probably be pretty insistent that we go do his thing. Are there books that teach me how to become a lich at his thing? In no. Yes. Uh probably not to Then to Chigaus. Of the lich, but there are that's that's the that's the big gnome city. Uh, and there's probably tech like, They can make you a Gundam. There's probably text Ooh. that would uh potentially lead to making you into an animate or even possibly an artifice like oh shit robot bird well no you would just be an artifice you wouldn't have any bird features but your soul would be in a essentially immortal body i mean they could make me look like a bird though couldn't they in theory build a beak on you it wouldn't be able to fly as a, as unless, an, unless they program that. Or oh, you like jetpacks or a propeller? Yeah, that's true. Jetpacks do exist. Not wings. They're legendary items, but they exist. I'll get fucking metal wings. I don't give a fuck. Like Archangel? Call him, call him Phoenix Person. <laughs> <laughs> call him Phoenix Person. My goodness. <sighs> Phoenix Flight. Objection. We can go wherever we guys want to go. I don't care. I don't care either. But you need to make a decision. <laughs> but that little kid wants to go to Chigaus. I thought we were just hanging out. You can just hang out too. 
you can have some downtime. You don't necessarily have to go immediately to go do stuff. You you can do downtime like, things. You know what? I've had enough Avenger. I think I'm just going to go sit. You can do that. Time to retire. You can 100% do that. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it, but you can. <laughs> well. It's like three months pass, and then the apocalypse happens. We'll let someone else deal with the apocalypse. It's, it's, not, our, it's not our job. I'm We're sick of saving the world. Oh yeah, we haven't told. We That's haven't told in character. Them. What about the apocalypse? Oh yeah, we're we're trying to stop the apocalypse. No big deal. Just the usual. Uh, this is a normal Tuesday. That should have been in like. <laughs> What's a Tuesday in your world? Lead with that. That should have been in like the manual, right? The yeah, man probably. Manual. Where's the new employee's handbook? Uh, well, you you just you just kind of showed up and joined him, and Clank just let you in because he was because you Clank kept you giving me shit. Dancing, <laughs> like so you pay me fourteen thousand white draka, I'll follow you anywhere you. <laughs> That's a lot of cash, to be fair, like a huge amount of cash. Like basically, like if someone just drops, I'm like, yeah, they gave me this when they first met me. I wonder how much they'll give me when he gets to know me. I'm probably going to owe him money. Oh, pardon me. Oh. All right. In the they still have my blood, don't they? They what? The um, Cult of Madden still has my blood, don't they? Yes, they do. Indeed, they do. We should probably get that at some point. Mm -hmm. What the hell's the Cult of Madness? You know what the Cult of Madness is. Uh, the cult trying to summon the god of madness back to the uh, so, uh, back to our tan so they can rule the world. Ryland, to... Ryland okay. hasn't necessarily directly interacted with the cult of madness, but the cult of madness angry. began to build a reputation for themselves of being like good and sort of protectors and like killing bad monsters and stuff. Uh, I'm trying to weaken the veil, which is true. Like they did do, they have, they have been doing all that stuff, but it's not for good reasons. And they would frequently seek out monsters, even if they weren't aggressively trying to get at towns or people or what have you, just sort of wantonly killing them. In fact, so this, like when you say monsters, do you mean like specific ones to this plane or like? Yes. Yes. So, yeah. like a kraken. So, like a kraken. Yeah. Okay. Not that. I mean, krakens tend Just to be woefully unpleasant, but yes. We uh, noticed. <laughs> yes. Ow. <clears throat> uh, but beyond oh, okay. that, like you had seen flyers and stuff before to come join the cult of madness and you know bring peace to the world all that fun stuff nah uh, i'm not about that life reasonably compelling to a lot of adventurers okay yeah thank you mhm mm it will be approximately Seven, or, well, we'll say like eight days to get to Chagaus from where you are in the airship. Um, I mean, I'm down with what you guys want to do, but now that I've presented this whole world ending situation, mm -hmm. I feel worried. And Kit said he's fine waiting. Yeah, it's not like he's getting any older. But Chagaus is also the next place that you have to go for that note that you found in that book. Cool. Uh, Forgot about that. To sort of further, to sort of further the uh, basically Sazir in Drakar is uh, Drakar is the town and Sazir is the person. Uh, who is somehow connected to the Cult of Madness. 
in some currently unknown way. Okay. Yeah. So well, maybe I'm down for whatever you guys want to do. Yeah. Well, my side quest in uh, self uh, says let's uh, go knock out uh, Clank's little thing and then get get on to the main stuff in Chigaus. Okay. Is Chigaus the main stuff though? Yeah. Oh. But okay. That's the, that's the note. So, finish up the side quest that you've got before you go to a new continent. <laughs> okay. That's fine, too. Uh, you begin to... Let me make a note of that, actually. Heads toward... This feels like we're on a time restraint here. Damn right. You are. That's okay. Potentially. Group heads towards Ganrock. Now, Ganrock is on the sort of other side of the continent you're on now. Where is the... There it is. Alright, where are you at? Where are you at? Nope. Nope. There we go. Okay. From there to there. Ooh. I can actually sort of do a little more math here. Nine. So we've got do 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 where is my calculator? Mm -hmm. That means it's six. I don't know why no one's talking. I think Gerald's doing the thing. I'm doing some math. Yes, give me a quick second. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> What's up? What? What are you guys talking about? Huh? Just waiting on you. All right. All right, all right, all right. So it's going to take you approximately... Five days, give or take. No, it's going to be less than that. Sorry. It's going to be three days to get to Ganrock from where you are. And that is moving at the ship's maximum speed without stopping. And you can do that because it has essentially infinite energy to do that. So, is there anything you'd like to do? on the three days that you're traveling. Any conversations you would like to have? Or... Uh, do some crunches. <laughs> do, do some crunches. You said there's a library on the ship, right? Uh, no. There was. Not on the ship. There's one. They yeah. lied to me like there's one in the city that you were in. Do you have any books? Do you have your slate? It has tons of information. I know, but I was going to read up on necromancy type stuff to check for out those uh, devices. Oh, no. There's nothing like that on the ship. Okay. Yeah. And I keep working on researching that other thing. Uh, the Eldritch Blast, is that what I was doing? You were. Um... And you have, as of this moment, you've kind of exhausted all that. But you can kind of keep keep working on it a little bit here and there. Maybe expand it 
some as time goes on. But as of right That's now. That's the idea. I don't have anything else. Either. Yeah, I got you. As of <clears> right now. Oh, and I want to make a sandwich. Nothing special. I just wanted a sandwich. Okay. Have, have Quetzal make it. Yeah. Quetzal's, Quetzal's the chef of the ship. But I wanted to make a sandwich. Too bad. <laughs> I mean, okay. I will make a sandwich. That's fine. I mean, assuming that Quetzal's okay with you using the kitchen implements. That's fine. Don't burn the ship down. <laughs> okay. Not the response I was expecting. I'm going to be right. honest with you. I burned the ship down making a sandwich. I done goofed. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and we kind of deserved it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. TPK. Making a sandwich. <laughs> All right, guys, roll new stats. Oh, my goodness. That's very funny. Except not roll stats because I hate roll. Literally, I'm talking like bread, some cheese, and meat. I think I can handle it. Okay. That's great. You make a sandwich, and it's very good. Thank you. Thank you. Because Quetzal yeah. keeps only the best food on the ship. The best deli meats. Yeah. Is... Uh, I don't know if we've discussed this or not. Maybe we have, maybe we haven't. Um, does Quetzal eat chicken? I think we have discussed this, and yes, he does. Okay. Cool, cool. So, yeah, there's all kinds of things. Anybody else? Went in to do anything. Um, Krishna kind of stays <coughs> for the most part at the helm inspecting the map, the sort of holographic map that he has, that he sort of uses to pinpoint where you're going. I'll probably spend most of my time with Krishna. Okay. Also, just kind of like serving as like a lookout. Hmm. That's a good call. Um, because you know, on, passive perception. Stuff. Yeah, yeah, I got you. On uh, when you get very close, this is like the the third day of travel, and maybe like you can see the mountain because it's the biggest mountain in the range which is where the city is um, and it's like it's in sight and you're flying there and then you see well actually let's see if you see it Kane give yeah. me a perception check 14 14 Krishna is on deck as well Do 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 do. Okay. That's an eight. I'm trying to think if anybody else would be on the deck. After a time on the ship, after he, he kind of explores it a little while, uh, Satoshi just wisps back into his crystal. And, you know, the box closes again, and he's, he's, he's in there. Uh, let's see. So the 14, I think that you would see it, because it's not... Number one, this particular creature's not trying to hide. And uh, it's quite big, actually. So near, or coming from... <clears throat> the largest mountain peak a creature begins to fly in your direction it's shimmery and it gets closer and closer uh, as it's getting closer do you do, what what would Kane like to do because Krishna doesn't see it he's like too, too focused on the map um alert Krishna okay that makes sense to me 
Say, hey, look. <laughs> hey, Point. look. <laughs> Point, yeah. Look better. <laughs> Move up. Wow. Uh, he he, he kind of moves up really... next to you and, and looks out. And again, the, the like it's getting close enough that you can see that it has wings. Um, and it appears to be metallic in nature. Uh, it's, it's not gonna be good. It's continue. It's you know flap flap flap, flying your way. Uh, and it just it seems almost like it's closer than it is because it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Um, and it becomes uh, probably about. 500 feet out or so from the ship, uh, you can very clearly tell that it is a dragon. Uh, and specifically, it is a silver dragon. Kind of flap, flap. Good kind, right? Typically, yes. Okay. Flapping your way. Uh, it goes to... It sort of pulls up, kind of adjacent to the ship, and you hear it. Just it, it kind of looks your way and speaks and says, uh, "Permission aboard." Uh, he he kind of looks to to Krishna. Okay. <laughs> and and Krishna says, uh, "Yeah, come on." It doesn't seem, again, it's weird because you've seen all these crazy creatures and stuff and they're not immediately hostile to you, uh, which is not something that your your group has been used to. <laughs> but as the silver dragon begins to sort of get closer to the ship, you see it start to shrink. And when it actually lands on the deck... It is a humanoid. Uh, actually, looks human. Heavily muscled. Uh, no hair. And he says, uh, "Hey guys, long time no see. How have you been?" Well, do you do you look confused at him? Yeah, like I just like answer his question. After, I'm like, wait, uh, I'm good, I guess. You recognize him? Is it Toretto? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It is Toretto. Huh. What are you doing out here? Well, I got my sister to uh, to some help, and I've been on the lookout for cult of madness activity and just keeping the general area safe and all that fun stuff. What brings you out this way? I didn't expect to see you out here. Oh, we're heading to. I can't remember the city. Who's your new? Well, I guess Ron is not on on the on the upper deck. Yeah, it's just just me and Krishna. <laughs> Where's everybody else? Uh, below deck. Uh, Harriet's taking some time time to be with her family. We we haven't seen oh. Finn in a in a while. Oh yeah, yeah. Everyone everyone else is here though. Okay. So, um, I don't I don't think there was anybody else that was uh new since we did that. Is there or anyone else is gone? Mm, back then, I'm trying to think. Um. But, yeah. No, Eli yeah. was definitely still playing Finn. Right. 
Finn was. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I think that's it, really. Mal was there, maybe? <laughs> yeah. Mal yeah. Um, has, is in a Leia car still. Yeah, she. Nope, not gonna, not gonna do it. <laughs> She's off uh, trying to take down the sickle in the Leia car. As far as you know, anyway. I mean, it, it, she might be dead at this point. You don't even know. You haven't, <laughs> you haven't talked to her in, well, since you left, really. So. <clears throat> He says, glad everyone's doing okay. Anything you need help with before, you know, I return to my rounds? So I'd come say hi. Oh, I mean, you said you're on the lookout for Cult of Madness activity. Have you seen mm -hmm. anything of note? Mm, you know, not... you know, uh, we're. Yes. To share the same. <laughs> I've encountered uh, numerous monster corpses, but beyond that, I have not run into any cultists directly. Hmm. Yeah. They've been they've been rather elusive lately. That's true. So we. I fear for my brethren, for my family in Draco Donum, Domum, I should say. <laughs> Did I say it right? Um, that's the island that houses basically all of the dragons that don't have the dragon sickness that makes them like hoard their own scales. Uh, they're all, you know, reasonably good. I fear that the Cult of Madness plans on Sending some kind of force there. Which would be bad. Any way. Uh, any way that works out. Because, you know, powerful adventurers such as yourself uh, also have quite a lot of internal energies <clears throat> that will fuel the veil. So whether it's my brethren that die or the adventurers who die, neither is good. <clears throat> I will, of course, continue my lookout and will let you know if anything comes up of great importance. Uh, and he kind of calls Krishna over to the side. Because if you remember, he's the one who sort of started Krishna Thought on his the... sorcerer path. Yeah. On the dragon, the dragon sorcerer path. Um, and and he he kind of, you know, gives him some additional pointers on using magic and some stuff like that. It takes maybe... An hour, two hours, something like that. No. You're welcome to hang out with them or whatever. You, I mean, they talk about things that Kane doesn't really know anything about, but it's I still smile and nod. Of, of interest, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Stops. Um. Not sure. Hold on. I'll be right back. 
and I might have uh, that. We might backtrack that next session when uh, Krishna can jump in, and we'll have some of that conversation. <clears throat> Corey stepped out for a second. Yeah. Um, with that, we're about, let's see, we're at an hour, close to an hour and a half. We're going to go ahead and take our break. Can. Sure. Everybody good with that? All right. Sure. Great. We're going we're gonna to take a break. We'll be back in, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. We'll see how that plays out. Plays out. And uh, we'll be coming back in. In at Ganrock. All right.